Lions TV, this is the Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip, views and transfer news from in and around the Den. Once again, I've come to my parents for a little week off during the international break. And once again, every time I seem to do that, all hell breaks loose. Let's wind it back, okay, to transfer deadline day. I did a 12-hour stream. Uh, I went a little bit earlier, got overexcited, and I finished the stream about quarter to midnight, about 15 minutes after I finished the stream. The club announced that Zian Fleming had left for Burnley on a loan originally, which would become permanent at the end of the season. And then about half an hour after that, it was gone midnight, I'm sure, the club announced finally the news that we had signed Mihailo Ivanovic for €3 million, Euros, around £2.5 million, pound, a club record transfer fee for the 19-year-old Serbian striker. Now, as a result of that, I've not yet had the time to put an Ivanovic video signing out, but it's sort of played into things quite well because there's been further developments and it is, it's very mere war. It's definitely started off on the wrong foot, I would say, and it's been a little bit chaotic um, now, again, I'm not spreading negativity. I keep saying that we're in a good place moving forward. Um, we, we're building a young side, one for the future, and Neil Harris, the man in charge. I've said all that, and I'll reiterate that again before I get into this video. I've been accused on social media of spreading negativity. Now, for those that don't realise or understand, Lions TV is a Millwall news channel, and it's not me starting these rumours. It's not me making these statements, and other Millwall platforms and the fan base in general are all talking about these things. So... I'm in a position now, and unfortunately it's a case of a little bit of be careful what you wish for. Whether people like me or not, I've got a following. No one can deny that, and I'm not bigging myself up. I'm saying that's, that's the reality, and that's the world I live in now. So if I don't cover a story, it does look a bit strange. So as I said, Ivanovic gets announced very late Friday night. I think it was even Saturday morning. It was announced along with it that he was unable to play for Millwall the next day due to the fact that he needed international clearance. In the same day, I'm sure, it may have been the day before or two, he got announced in the Serbian national squad, the full squad, for the first time. He has played for them at youth level, but I'm assuming, you know, him coming to me has raised his profile, and as a result, he's been named in the full squad for the first time. Now, why was it announced so late? That's the first question. A lot of people saying, well, it's because we was waiting for Fleming to go to Burnley. Well, no, it isn't that, because for one... We don't get anything for Fleming yet. We don't get anything until the season ends. And that's rumoured that fee to be around £7 million by Richard Cawley. But also Don Cawlinho announced in the day before that he's had his medical. And playing into that as well, I'm going to go into this guy in this video. Um, this guy here on Twitter. Now, I'm assuming that this is Ivanovic's dad slash agent. I think he's both. He may be one or the other. But I'm pretty confident that he's both. He put these pictures up and these videos up of Ivanovic at the Den before Richard Cowley had made that announcement and it spread. I don't know how people were even following him on Twitter. I think he, I think he tagged the club, in it. I think that's how people got into the news. But it was spreading like wildfire around the fan base, videos of Ivanovic at the Den. Um, but it wasn't announced straight away. And as I said, people were saying that that was because of the Fleming thing. I don't think it was because if you look at those original videos, that's during the day. And look at when the club announced Ivanovic. The photos have actually been taken at the Den at night. Now, if a player is having a medical, usually the next day it will come through. But Coburn was announced before him as well. Fleming's departure was announced before him, as I've already said. So in my mind, I'm thinking, is there something up with the medical? Not so sure, okay? This guy that I'm talking about, uh, honestly, and I'll get into the way he acts in a minute, he's like your buddy G. He's got to be the worst manager that, that a professional footballer's ever had because he's saying things that he shouldn't say. And that as he stands now, he's still doing it. And people are saying, oh, what's wrong with you? Why don't you like him? Um, I don't dislike him. I don't know the guy. But this is the big leagues now, mate. This isn't fucking Serbian park football. And, and he's announcing things that he shouldn't be saying. And he... Uh, I've got a bad feeling about it. Going forward, I think he's going to keep doing that. For example, if Ivanovic isn't getting in the side, he may vent his, his frustrations and his anger through his social media platform. And he shouldn't be doing it. As I said, this is the big league now. This is our football club. It's not a fucking joke. And I don't think he thinks it is a joke. But as I said, he's at a different level now. He needs to recognise that. And it's led to more chaos today. So he got announced that Ivanovic was our record signing. Brilliant. OK. He couldn't get the national clearance. So he couldn't play against Sheffield Wednesday. But straight after the game, I think it was the news that Den announced that Ivanovic would be out for up to eight weeks with a metatarsal injury. Now... I'm saying, in my opinion, and I don't know anything concrete, but I'm guessing this is why now it wasn't announced straight away. I do know he went off to Harley Street for a, for a scan, 
afterwards. And and again, you might have to help me now in the comments because I'm pretty sure that a player can't pass a medical with an injury. Okay, I'm not saying the injury is long term. I'm not saying he, he, you know he's, he's underlying and, and we shouldn't have signed him. I'm not saying that. I'm excited about the signing. I look forward to seeing him playing a milk shirt. But I'm guessing this is why the delay now and why the photos got taken in the dark probably well over 24 hours after Richard Cooley announced that he would be having a medical and probably about 30 or so hours after his dad slash agent put these original videos up. He then took them all down. The first statement that he put up said this, and my mate actually translated it. We highlight today at the famous Dent Stadium in London, home of Atmeal FC, and that's where you can see he tagged the club, and the craziest fans who have already gone crazy for him. Mihailo Ivanovic, the new star of the Lions from Millwall. So he put that, then he took it down. Then after the club announced it, he put them back up and said, OK, we can now announce this publicly. But of course, as I said, straight after the game, he's announced that he's out for eight weeks with a metal tarsal injury. And again, I'll say, I'm pretty sure a player can't pass a medical if they're injured. But Mill will make the sign anyway. And once again, I will reiterate that I'm excited to see Harry comes along and progresses. I did say that the sign of Coburn would be the perfect foil for him, and he's under no immediate pressure to come in and do the business. Now, today, it's emerged, as I said earlier, that he went to represent the Serbian national side. Okay? There's videos and pictures, and again, I'm not reporting anything fresh, because I've had it sent to me. I don't really go on to it, but it says there, and people have sent me videos and clips and photos, and the whole fan base is talking about it. So again, I'm not being negative. And I'm not spreading any negativity. I'm just reporting what everyone else is talking about and what I have now seen. And it's photos and videos of him training with the Serbian national side. Now, people are saying, well, why is he, why is he doing that? I thought he was injured. Um, they've come out and said he's not going to play 99%. And again, Chabali G's been at it uh, on the tweets, which I'll get into again in a minute. But look, one, you see this quite a lot in football. A club and a country, a little bit at loggerheads over the best interests of a player now. Millwall said he's injured, okay? And he plays for Millwall Football Club. We pay for his services. I'm a Millwall fan. I listen to what the clubs say. And I do know in football in general now that a player doesn't go, right, it's not like Sunday League, right, I'm ready to play now. Can you put me in this week? The club will protect their investment. They'll protect that player in the long term. And they'll say, no, you're ready to come back. Our medical team have told us, you're ready to come back at this point. So he's gone with Serbia. They've got friendlies against Spain. And people, as I said, have seen pictures and videos of him training. Um, and, and people are saying, now, well, what's going on? So now, Chibali G's come out again on Twitter, and he's interacting with fans. And, and he, he made this statement. Now, there's two ways of looking at this statement. I'll read it to you. 99% he will not play. 100% the Serbs want him around for the game. I think that Mill fans should think the same. Mihai is feeling fine. Great. No pain, no problem. He watched from the central box in Vojvodina in Belgrade against Parzan on Sunday. You should be all relaxed. Now, okay, I get that. He's reassuring Mill fans, okay? But at the same time, he said, there is no pain, there is no problem. So me maybe being cynical, I've read that. Well, he's, he's sort of saying that he's not injured. Okay, Mill said he is injured. Anyway, it's, it's absolutely crazy. It could only happen at Millwall that we sign someone for a record fee and already his dad slash agent has announced the signing before the club has had to take it down. Now the club have said he's injured. He's gone on international duty and his videos and pictures of him training. And now his dad there pretty much, if it is his dad, is saying that there is no pain, there is no problem. So, if, I mean, reading between the lines, I'm saying that he's saying that there is no problem. Now... Again, he, he needs to wind his neck in this case because it's no good. And, and the club have now responded and come out and say, the club, listen, make no mistake, whether my opinion is right or you agree with me or you don't, the club will not like this. And the club have come out now and made a statement. They've had to obviously respond to it. Richard Cowley has also made a statement. I'll show you those. So the club have come out and said, we are proud that Mihailo Ivanovic's talent and hard work has been recognised to represent Serbia's national team at just 19 years old. Mihailo was identified earlier this summer as a player with incredible potential and we are delighted to assign him on a long-term contract. During a series of extensive medical tests, the club identified a potential short-term metatarsal injury which could be managed in London with the best care. Our medical team is of the belief that a period of rehabilitation is in the best interest of Mihailo and knows his national team will take great care of him. The club remain in constant contact with the Serbian FA. We wish Mihailo the very best during his first of many call-ups to the international team and look forward to seeing him in a Mill shirt over the coming months. Richard Cowley then, of course, because that's what Richard Cowley does. He has to report the Mill news. So do I. Statement here from Millwall on Mihailo Ivanovic and his inclusion 
in the Serbian national team. FIFA rules means clubs are powerless to prevent national FAs from calling up players. Lions have injury concerns over Ivanovic and also high hopes for him after a club record outlay. So I'd imagine we'll be deeply displeased if he does feature in the matches. Now, Agent Chabuddy has come out and said 99% he won't play. However, it's not his place to do this. Okay? This is not part football. This is our fucking football club. And in my opinion, looking at all this, it's becoming a little bit of a fucking joke already. The club will not like this. Neil Harris will not like this. I'm not saying it's his fault that he's been called up to the Serbian side or his agent's fault. It's not their fault that he's been called up. But for him to come out and respond, this guy on Twitter, um, and now fans are interacting, saying, thank God for this guy. He's a lifesaver. And then and that, people now are accusing the club. I'm not. Look at the comments on Twitter. It's there. People are accusing the club of overreacting and being overcautious. So it's not the best start, let's be honest. And I think this guy needs to wake up and realise where he's at now, you know. I'm not talking about Ivanovic, I'm talking about his management and, and whoever he's putting out these tweets because it is becoming a little bit of a joke, in my opinion, and it's not right. So now, this new signing is signing has been overshadowed uh, by this injury and, and people accusing the club of, of, of not telling the truth. Trust me, the club will do the best for the player. They've signed him for a lot of money. They're not going to want him to go out on international duty and get injured. I'm pretty sure he won't play any friendlies. They've got two of them. One of them's against Spain. But then if he does, then it's going to be even more so. They're saying he's there and they want to include him around the squad. I do understand that. But look, I've not seen these people telling me there's, there's pictures of him jumping up and down and, and doing all sorts. He's got a kit on. I'll put that one on the screen there. So not the best start. Not the way I wanted to bring you the news that Mihailo Ivanovic has signed for the club. And you all knew that anyway. As I said, it's happened on Friday. But we want to be reporting him, being fresh, being ready, come back from injury and scoring goals. And at the minute, it's, it's getting a little bit like a fucking Benny Hill show, in my opinion. So... There you go. That's the Millwall news on our new striker. I've not put any of this out there. It's all out there. I'm not being negative. I'm just reporting the Millwall news, and that is the Millwall news. International break. I really, really am going to try and have a little bit of time off now. The Matt Smith Lions Lounge goes out tonight, and then I'm going to try and have two or three days off and enjoy the coast down here in Rye. Please, subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.